I think we're going to start there, man, just because. So just so you know, and I will we'll get this on. Are, are we on? Yeah, we, oh, just, okay. we just started right now, actually. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So if you don't know, so we did a segment called Who You Got, where yep. uh, I do my little prediction. And I bombed it, right? So <laughs> <laughs> I bombed it, right? Uh, I uh, I bet against the champ. Oh, I didn't man. really bet against him because I, I knew it was real close. I knew it was gonna be a close fight. No, you made a calculated guess. I we know a, who I'm, you were who you were rooting yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I'm yeah, actually yeah. super happy that homeboy won. I'm a yeah. I'm a Manny fan, but uh, yeah, I just I thought he I thought he might be too old, man. I thought that age was gonna catch up with him. You you bet on the factors. I bet on the factors. Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's all it was. Educated guess. Yeah, but uh, Manny looked. Yo, I'll say it like this: Manny looked really, really sharp in the first like six for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when I was watching, and then I think after that, Thurman, you know, picked it up a little bit, and uh, yeah, and then it was, it was a little bit closer of a fight. But I mean, he came out hot. He dropped him in the first. Yep. And uh, I even I, I was gonna wear a Manny pack yesterday, but I was like, <laughs> that's probably disrespectful after I chose against him. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let me not do that. I'll give it a week. <laughs> but uh yeah man what'd you think about the fight man i mean you know what it's um it was uh it was crazy because for one like you said i mean the the, the factors to it you know yeah. the, the whole age thing and yeah who'd you have going you know, in did you i mean man it was one of those like obviously i mean i was pulling for pacquiao but right i was like thurman's gonna Thurman. yeah i thought thurman was gonna be able to do it yeah you know what I'm saying for a lot of reasons and thurman i mean he i mean he's a good fighter he can box but manny's style and the way he was coming at him it almost like it shut down Thurman's style. Agreed. You know, what I saying? agreed. It didn't look like the normal Thurman yeah, that we used to see. Yeah. Right, right. You could you could be a good but you could be a good boxer, but go up against somebody else that like can mess can make you look bad. Yeah. yeah. You know. Who's, who's that guy that that had that quote? Everyone has a plan until. You oh, get that's Mike Tyson. That's Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, right? Mike Tyson, yeah. And yeah. I think that's exactly what happened when when Thurman went down like early in the first round. Yeah. I don't think he ever got over it. Yeah. It and just, I, you I think know, it took a lot of momentum head. from him too. Yeah. Like, because he came out, he was actually boxing pretty well. You yeah, know what I mean? They were but going toe to toe. They were going yeah. toe to toe. You know, Manny was looking yeah. sharp. So was he. Um, I think he came out a lot slower than I expected. I thought he was going to mm. come and try to put some pressure, try to really pick up the pace on the older fighter. Yeah. Try to make him fight for twelve rounds. You know what though? But Manny's a good counter fighter. Like he's Man. really good. So I think yeah. he, was, he was he was being more um, cautious. Yeah. On, on, you know, he didn't want to open up to get countered by him. So which is why I think he was being more cautious on a. Uh, you know, being a little slower, not not rushing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think he, I think he felt that pop at the beginning. Yeah. He's like, oh snap, homie can hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got that old man strength. Yeah, he got you know? that. That's <laughs> the last thing strength. to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got that old man strength. Put him on his ass, man. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was a good fight, man. I think you know, at the end of the day, like I put it on Instagram, I was just like, that's. I mean, he's just a legend. I don't even know what else to say anymore. Like every time I, every time I'm like, man, I don't know. He like, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he, he just shows up every time, man. He just, I think. His style is something different. Eight divisions. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? 40-year-old, the what oldest welterweight. Yeah, yeah. And then he, that, that, that whole fact that he originally won it at 20. Yeah. Second person to win it in 20 years. You well, know? I thought about this. So he's been in the game for 20 years. So yeah. when, he, when he was first starting in the game, Keith Thurman was 10. Yeah. Yeah, watching them <laughs> was on. it ten? I thought it was six. They're, no, ten, they're years ten years apart. Years apart. Okay, exactly. oh that's right, that's right. They're ten okay. years yeah, apart. So he's right. been in the game for twenty. Yep. Keith Thurman was literally a ten-year-old, probably just starting his amateur, like amateur yep. career. Yeah. I think he started somewhere between ten and twelve. Mm -hmm. So that's crazy, like yeah. crazy to think. I mean, but you know, kudos to Thurman too, man. He, he you know, he came off a two-year layoff, mm -hmm. came back and fought one of the best of all time. Yeah. In Manny Pacquiao, old or not, he's one of the best of all time. And uh, you know, and I think he put on a good show, and he didn't—he didn't bitch up. He could have quit a few times, really. You know what I mean? Like he didn't have to—he didn't have to, you <laughs> yeah. know, he didn't have to, but he did. Yeah. did real, real side note: Did you guys see that little clip of uh, the dude that got knocked out the ring recently? Just yesterday, it was another fight that happened. This two heavyweights were fighting, uh -huh. and the heavyweight got knocked out of the ring and came back in oh, and tried to finish yeah. the round. You crap. didn't see it? No, you no, haven't no, seen no. it? That's that one. Damn. Okay. That was after the fight. No, no. That? This I think this was on a card on Friday or something like that. Oh, I just wondered if you guys gotcha. saw it. I was just like, oh. did they let him continue the? the no, nah, they ended up stopping it. But oh. I, I had to give homie his props. That's why I was asking if you saw it. I just was yeah. like, yo, kudos oh. to that dude. He got knocked out the ring, walked back up the stairs, <laughs> oh and got back in and was like, we gonna finish this fight. And I was like, he was out when he when he got knocked him out of the ring. He was out. No, nah, no. Nah, I think he. Uh, I think he kind of like like he was dazed a little bit and kind of bounced out. Yeah, and just felt like he was Damn. just. <laughs> he was he was on he was on Queer Street a little bit, you know what I mean? Man, I gotta check that one. Yeah, out. yeah. I'll see if I can find it before we get out of here. But it was an Ooh. interesting clip. Yeah, those are yeah strange calls because uh, the fight before that, the the Filipino cat, yeah. um, the other guy, 
Yeah, I and saw there was a little yeah, controversy on yeah. that. Yeah, he, he he took a little bit to get up for for sure. Yeah. But um, he got up. He was looking at the judge, and the judge ultimately made the call to end it. So yeah, yeah. So like those types of calls, you know, the fighter's not ready to give up. But yeah, or you, well, know. you know, fight. Well, there's also that other dude. There's a, a Russian dude that recently fought on Friday. I forget his last name, Davichanian, something like that. Uh, but he ended up not wanting to quit. His his coach was named uh, Buddy McGurk or something like that. You know, Buddy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, threw in the towel? Buddy had to throw in the oh, towel wow. for him, but he was, like, begging him. So the clip that went viral was Buddy begging him, like, you have to let me stop this before you're getting hit too much. So the dude finally ended up saying, like, okay, let's let's stop the fight. But he basically collapsed when he left the ring. Oh, And shit. then he ended up in the hospital with, with what seems like a super severe concussion. He was throwing up, all types Damn. of stuff, ended up in the hospital. So it's always like a... You know, crazy thing. I imagine yeah. coaches and, and, and refs, man, they're in there trying to really, like, yeah. you know, save, save lives. lives. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah. And, it's, it, and it's always a split decision, right? Mm -hmm. People have died in the ring. So, you know, it's a tough job, man. I don't, yeah. you know, you do what you got to do, brother. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I know we went straight into that. Yeah, we but, went um, straight in. Well, Y'all might have noticed there's an extra <laughs> body with us today. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, backtrack. Yeah, so let's yeah, backtrack. Yeah, so yeah. first of all, uh, that third voice that you guys are hearing. Yep, or uh, watching. Or watching is yep. a, a gentleman that I know uh, pretty well now by the name of Mr. Eddie Ambient Jackson. Mm -hmm. uh, so first of all, welcome, sir. We appreciate having you on. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you say Eddie Ambient Jackson. The funny story, um, the first time I met this dude or got introduced to this dude was Rich's uh, baby shower. Okay. Oh, that's right. At the, at the park. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, like as a dude, you go into any situation and you're looking around and you're sizing fools up <laughs> and you're just trying to see like who's out there, you know? <laughs> and then I asked, my, I asked my little sister like, damn, who's that dude? That fool look like a killer. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, who do you, who do you mean? Ambient? <laughs> like, why ambient? He's like, yeah, he, pull, he, he, he puts, puts fools to, to sleep. sleep. <laughs> I was like, all right, that doesn't help my situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Eddie Ambient Jackson, welcome. Yeah, You're yeah. our first official guest as the two of us. Yeah, that's right. On that's the Gold right. Mines podcast. Yeah. I had some homies. It was just me and the homies, but you're the official first guest of Gold Mines as a group. Yeah. So man. welcome. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you let me let me talk about how I know Ambient. So I met Ambient at a, a gym we both worked at. But before I actually became an employee there, I was just a member. Okay. Right? And so he was the only class I actually took there. You know what I'm saying? So I would take his class every Monday. Um, and I just vibed with a style. He was always playing Jay-Z and stuff in class. You know what I mean? <laughs> just yeah. you, you could tell the cat knew what he was doing. Um, and so that's how I, I ended up meeting him. And he, I don't know if you know if he knows this, but when they asked me to actually be a coach, he was actually the first person I hit up. Uh, and I was just like, hey, what do you think? And he was like, listen, if you think you can do it, then go ahead and get your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, and so, you know, he was a big part of that transition for me for just being somebody who loved boxing uh, to actually becoming a coach. So, that's you know, dope. again, I don't know if he knows that, but that's, that's really kind of what happened. And then um, – yeah, you know, so let's just dive in. Here's where here's where yeah, I want to so, kind of go in. So let's let's talk about yeah. Ambien and like. So he puts people to sleep. He puts people um, to if sleep. If you didn't get it, he's a professional boxer. He's a professional, he's a professional M fighter. MMA fighter. Okay, MMA fighter. There we go. T uh, tell us, you started originally in boxing though. I started up. I started uh, yeah, in boxing. I was about five about five years in boxing. Um, at, w at what age? Seventeen. Okay. Probably about a senior in high school. Okay. Uh, started off boxing about five years. Um, shit, I saw my first MMA fight and, um, I was like, man, like, I was like, the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, come to find out, like, you had to learn more, uh, more martial arts, the, the wrestling, the jujitsu, the kickboxing. So, uh, so from boxing, I went into kickboxing. I kickboxed for about two years and then, um, been, uh, been involved in MMA for about seven years straight after that. Okay. So, um, yeah, no doubt my hands are my bread and butter. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, that's, I mean, that, that, as far as my start, that's, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, this, the crazy, I, other crazy part is um, yeah. you, you told me about the other podcast that you had been on. Yeah. And come to find out, the first um, experience I had with or fighting or boxing was at the old LA County jail as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, That's it's right. it was dope. That. Yeah, yeah, from Marshall, um, one of the teachers put me on. It's, you know, this free program. I don't know if they still do it, but it was such a great program. Yeah. It's for the youth. It was absolutely free. Interesting. You had really good people in there, really good trainers. They had a weight room. It was just a dope place. Yeah. 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 And, the, and the whole history behind yeah. it was like kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 it's pretty harsh. Yeah. That's, that's definitely going to put you in a different mindset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You walk, you walk hard, in there, yeah, you know. Yeah. What was what you happened? Felt tough. Yeah, you yeah, felt yeah. tough. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's so funny, man. So, I, what I want to do is I want to dive back a little bit. Like, so one of the questions that I I've been asking people as I meet them, just in in general, right? But not on. This is my first time asking on the podcast. Is like, 
who was Eddie as a child, man? Like, like if I was your next door neighbor as a kid growing up, we was in the same neighborhood. Like, what would I know about Eddie? Like, how, like what would I have known about you at, at a very young age to start? Oh, my God. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where, where, where did you grow up? Let's tell us that. Yeah, let's I'm, start there. I'm from, I'm from Inglewood. Hey, right. Inglewood. Yeah. Inglewood, California. Let's go. Yeah, Tough yeah. times um, back then. <laughs> it, it was, man, which is probably why I, I decided to start fighting because yeah. that's all we did. Even if it was just like friendly slap boxing, we just, yeah. you know, it was yeah. always some kind of altercation. So, uh -huh. you know, um, but it was, it was, uh, it was tough. It was tough. Um, I didn't have like the best of childhoods, but, you know, I was around, I grew up around a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of drug dealers and, yeah pimps hustlers and and you know um so to be where i'm at now uh it's it's, it's a blessing yeah. for sure it's a true blessing um but yeah it was uh i was a kid i mean shit i was like any other kid i mean i got in trouble it was easy to get in trouble you know <laughs> yeah yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Where, where i'm from so um but you know i mean my you know i had my my parents um for the most part to you know kind of keep me on track and 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 you know, pops. You know, he was no joke. You know, he was. Uh, you know, he kept the he kept me on the short leash. His real uh, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, he 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 uh, he bounced when I was around maybe 11, 10, 11. Yeah. Um. So he he's been in and out of my life. Um, you still connect with him like at, at this uh, current stage or? No, man. That both my parents have passed. Oh, know, okay. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All good. Yeah. But um, you know, so I didn't have much of a relationship with him, so I kind of just grew up on my own like trying to become my own man and yeah. you know following the footsteps of the you know the homies and everything absolutely um so you know I, I guess it's one of those because i mean well i'll speak for myself but you know i didn't have much of a a, a normal good enjoyable childhood so i didn't you know ain't too many memories i i like to talk about or, yeah. or even try to like you know but i mean you know it, it just in that environment, you you do what you can. Yeah, you yeah. do what you can. And I get then, it. I mean, I had I had a very similar. You know, a lot of people are, like my pops left when I was eleven. You know what I'm saying? So I totally I I vibe with that. Like you know what I mean? That's a very transitional uh, a period in in a child's life, right? You're going into your early teenage years. Right, right. You got um, questions. You got questions, and if you don't, if pops ain't home, you go. Oh, you got you got to figure out answers from somebody you else. Yeah. To, you ain't trying to ask mom. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, you know? she doesn't yeah, feel yeah, that. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> You don't want to piss her off asking those kind of questions. For yeah. sure, for sure. So, so before before fighting, right? You're a young kid. What did you think? What did you think you were gonna be? Like, what what did you want to be when you were a youngster? Man, was that even what? a thought? It, you know what? Like, you know, all, all the you know, TV's a huge influence. So, absolutely, I, I'd get caught up in like the whole like cops and robbers type of thing. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I I thought at one point I wanted to become a cop. Okay, not not so much like a cop, like patrolling cop, but like. Like vice, like undercover, right, right. You know, Detective like, 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 or a Denzel, like a Denzel in training, <laughs> right. you know, not, 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 and not so much like a crooked cop, right, but right. Just like that's that style, like yeah. the whole with the with the badge and the, you know, with the, the necklace and they, yep. you know, the right. whole pull it out and went like you know, yeah, undercover. So, um, just because I feel like I can, you know, it, it seemed like more fun than just driving around like and being a, a beat cop, yeah, exactly, you know, right, like pulling people over for tickets, but um. So I thought, I was like, you know what, this, this is what I want to do. And, uh, you know, so, but obviously growing up the way I did, we, and, us and cops, you know. Makes it a little hard. It was hard, <laughs> it man. Makes it a little difficult. It was hard. So um, I wasn't sure, man. I just kind of went with it. And, uh, you know, at that point, you're not really thinking about what you want to be when you grow up. You just trying to Make survive it the day. and just, yeah, man. Make I mean, it it's, through the day, yeah. As harsh as it sounds and, and to say it like that, but. I mean, I'm older now, so like looking back on, I could I could speak better about it. And but I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I had you know the whole you know I want to be a cop. Or I thought be a firefighter at some point too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like I mean a lot of you know positive uh, occupations I wanted to you know I try to to get involved in. But yeah, man, I think I think I think just the whole the way everything played out. I mean, I did. This was the last thing I I thought I'd be like a you know a, a pro fighter yeah a, a professional at that like i always wanted to be you know I, I always played sports so i figured you know what you, you did football i did football basketball yeah. i ran track you know um it was almost funny man like I, I wasn't big enough for football right i wasn't tall enough for basketball, basketball. <laughs> i wasn't like that i mean i was fast i think right. they have always i still got my speed but yeah. um track wasn't 
I needed contact. Like right. I wanted to be involved in a contact right, sport. Right, right, right. So, I got to be able to push somebody. Yeah, like I want to be like, you know, kind of like, yeah, yeah something. A so, little chest to chest bump yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, so I uh, <laughs> track wasn't really, uh, and then um, shit, man, I just, you know, kind of like took up, I didn't, well, I mean, it happened by accident, but going to the gym and, you know, I went there just to kind of like let out frustration and yeah. just like go there and just beat up the bag or whatever. And then, um, you know, one thing led to another and uh, the coaches there, were they kind of threw me in. Um when some of the older cats were sparring and some of the, I guess, sparring partners didn't show up. So they were like, hey, you want to kind of threw yeah, me in yeah, there? Yeah. Like, you know, so, but I held Just my own. Just needed a body. That's yeah, what they were yeah, looking for, I really. wasn't knowing that, but they, they, they did me dirty, man. Now you, now you know. Yeah, like. now I know. So. <laughs> no, that's a similar yeah. experience because I, I was taking martial arts before that and I had quit martial arts because of the fact that I went into martial arts because I wanted to fight. Right. But it's been it was like months. Right. And we just got into sparring and it was grappling. I'm like, yo, I want to fight. Right, right, right. right. I so I punch Yeah. Somebody. So I found that the gym in L.A. and same situation. First day there. Yeah. Um, they told me like, all right, you need your wraps. They had some wraps, you know, whatever. And then um, we we're doing some drills. And then by the end of the class, it's like, all right, let's step in the ring. And yeah. you're sparring the first day. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. This is real. Yeah. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit just got real. <laughs> yeah, tough place, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes that's the only way to do it, though, is to get yeah. thrown into the fire. Or else, or else you, might, you might never actually take that step yeah. sometimes. So I, that happens like that. But